after a harvest, these grounds seem quite dull, but in reality, they are bringing a greener side to Memphis. This garden is changing Memphis neighborhoods into Memphis communities. Like taking our community back. Grow Memphis is the backbone to this project. Associated with Memphis Peace and Justice, Grow Memphis has a mission to establish gardens in low-income communities. The first garden was started in 2001 in the Orange Mound community of Memphis. With so many people out here today on this cold day in Midtown, the fire's not the only thing keeping them warm. But the idea that the community is coming together to strengthen their own neighborhood is warming their hearts as well. One thing that really is striking to me is every time I'm out in the garden, everyone stops and says hello. People, there's a lot of foot traffic in that neighborhood. Everyone's walking by. Everyone stops, checks on me, makes sure I'm doing okay, stops to chat, asks about the garden. So there's a lot of involvement. Involvement from the community is just what the gardens need. We want people to take ownership of the gardens, and that way they can become something empowering to show people that they can grow their own food. It's not my garden, it's their garden, because we did it for them. This project is a community effort, so the gardens are owned by students, grandparents, and everyone in between. Grow Memphis wants the entire community to pitch in. Children are, are asking more questions. The parents are, are really interested. My senior citizens are saying that they have not seen a garden since they left Mississippi or Arkansas or somewhere, so this is refreshing to them. The idea of providing for yourself is a vital lesson. With the economy state unstable, simple gardening tools are giving a break to many Memphians' checkbooks. These vegetables are free of charge. Um, we get the kids involved. We're learning about working the soil and, and growing the vegetables. People can grow their own food. And by doing that, of course, you're reducing your cost of living. To make sure that the food is not tainted in any way, Grow Memphis composts and removes pests without chemicals. And these organic vegetables are not going unnoticed. Being able to pick food off the ground and put it in your mouth and eat it and know that you planted it, you picked it, and you didn't put anything on it except what fell from the sky. Once it's freshly picked, it tastes better. The food is not the only positive outcome to the community. Community members are getting out of their houses and meeting their neighbors. My garden became a meeting place. I had people that didn't know each other lived in the same community, but when they came to the garden, they met each other. They're getting to know each other, and you get to meet new people. Along with vegetables, Grow Memphis will be growing next spring. This expansion is possible because of the farmer's market. For Grow Memphis, the money goes uh, for each garden goes back into the garden. So uh, by selling at the farmer's market, we can make money to reinvest in the garden. Grow Memphis has high hopes, and with a little care, these hopes can come true. I hope that the whole community will be growing good, nutritious, healthy vegetables and fruits in their own backyard. Reporting for Wake Up Germantown, I'm Amy Fenton. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.